Hey guys, so welcome to another WoW video, and I have another mount for you today. This mount is called the Swift Gloom Hoof. She is super cute, a little light purple there, and I like her a lot. You will need to make an item in order to activate the rest of the procedure to get this mount though. So we are first going to talk about the dream catcher that you need, which can be done in three easy steps. So let's go. Now, I didn't actually start recording this until after I kind of made the jump from there to get to this area that you see me at. So I'm just going to open a map here for you guys. But basically, if you got the maze mount, the one where you went through the maze and then killed Buddy at the end and clicked on the mount, that is where you're going. There is a waterfall on in that area. You jump to that. And that is literally the path. So if you know where that is, you know where you're going. Just go there and jump over the edge. You won't die. You'll land in water. And yeah. So that is this. That is where we are now. And coordinates are on the screen for those that maybe didn't get the maze mount so you don't know which area I'm quite uh, referring to in the video. So yeah, if you didn't get that mount, 1963 is your coordinates for Ardenwald, which basically is the bottom left of your map. And basically just follow the path you see me going to and what you're going to do is you're going to just jump to this tree. Be very careful. You can die. And uh, yeah. I did bring uh, some goblin gliders with me. You don't have to, but it does make it a little easier. I didn't need them for the first jump, but it made it easier for the last jump where I get to the cart. So this part is so that you can get the broken soul web. Okay, so for part two of the dream catcher, now we are going to be going to Glitterfall Basin. We are going to be looking for Elder Gwenna. She's right here where you see me. And we need to repair the soul web that we got. Now there's... Two things that might stop you. I I was fine doing this because I do pretty much every quest on my first character in a new expansion. But if you don't, you may not see her. So two things you do need to do is uh, side quests. You need to have the Trouble at the Gormling Corel quest chain done and Tricky Spriggan's quest chain done. If you don't have that, she's probably not standing here. That's kind of what triggers her into this area. So, so yeah, if you have all the quests done, you should be good to go and you should be able to just um, come right here. Now, one little bug that I discovered, and it took me a few minutes to kind of figure out that it was actually what was stopping my progression here. But as you can see, I give her the silk. Uh, looks like she takes it, but I check my bags. I see that I have the same amount of silk as when I showed up and nothing's really going on. Well, the reason for that is because I'm on a mount. Who would have thunk, right? I, I really didn't think there'd be a bug due to you handing in a quest on a mount. But yeah, that will happen to you if you try to do this while being on your mount. So make sure you dismount and then give her the silk. You'll get the repaired soul web as you see here when I kind of, you know, put two and two together and realized that things were bugging up because I was on my mount. So that completes step two. Okay, and for the final step, step three, all you're going to do is you're going to go to Heart of the Forest and you're going to talk to Isera and get the Dreamcatcher. You don't have to be part of the Night Fae Covenant to do this. Basically what happens is if you're 
if you're part of it, you can just hand in here. If you are not part of it, what you'll do is you will speak to the guards outside of Heart of the Forest, and that will allow Sarah to come outside and, you know, then you can speak to her that way. And that concludes the dream catcher part. This is required if you want to get swift gloom hoof. Okay, so once you have the dream catcher, now it's time to go hunt down nightmare. Okay, so here I open up the map. You can see that we are at Hibernal Hollow. And you're just going to go uh, to the coordinates 6252. And you should just see Nightmare running around. Uh, try to be in a group before you catch Nightmare's attention. Um, everyone will have to have the dream catcher in the group or else they won't see it. So definitely make sure that if you're starting a group, maybe put that into the title that you must have the dream catcher. And, and then you should be good to go. Uh, this part's actually the, the easy part. Just group up. As far as solo, Nightmare is not really soloable. Uh, maybe later on on a pet class you might be able to. At the point of recording this video, Mythic Plus and Raids aren't even out yet. It's only week two. So, you know, the average player's gear is between 150 to 170. It's really not that high. So at the moment, not really soloable, but if you had a pet class, maybe you could solo it. It would probably take a good 30 minutes though right now. However, if you are watching this, you know, many months later or even years, you could potentially solo it at that point. But yeah, right now the item level is just too low to be able to solo it in a reasonable amount of time. Also, the Dream Catcher has a five minute timer on it, so recast just before you start pulling the boss. Okay, guys, so here is the mount. She is a beauty. And that is how you get this mount. So I hope you enjoyed. Once again, this is the Swift Gloom Hoof. And not a bad mount at all. You know, the only real work is getting the Dream Catcher. And it, it doesn't take too long. And especially when you're watching a step-by-step -step video, right? So, um, so I hope you enjoyed. And we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.